What have I done? What have I done to fix it? Well, first off, I've had to go with a wired connection. I have turned off the wireless, kind of that's that's the simple solution. No more wireless for me. Using a mains uh, extender adapter, I now have um, that plugged into the mains and then I'm running a wired cable from that to the Mac. That seems to do away with those Wi-Fi issues. And actually, technically, it's running a lot, lot faster than it was pre doing that. So actually, probably um, a better solution all around anyway. Shouldn't be something I have to do, but it has certainly worked with me. So a little bit more expense as well, and I'll talk about the expense in a minute. The second thing, and, and final thing really, is I've moved all my USB stuff, all my things that are plugged in quite away. So if you look here, the Mac Mini is now up there. View line of sight with the mouse. Hopefully that's not too far. Sometimes it still does cut out, but I can't really get it unless I put my mouse up here and used it up here. I don't think I could physically get any closer to the machine. As you can also see or hopefully see here, there's nothing interfering. Everything has been moved away. All the external hard drives. The external hard drives are now way, way under here, under the desk. I have extended everything. I've also put the USB hubs way, way down under the desk. Completely inconvenient when I want to plug things in quickly on the fly. But... Um, those are the prices you pay because again i'm sure apple will be well, what do you want to plug things in for that's it's 2019 now and you should be doing things you shouldn't be working um anyway i digress those are the solutions uh, i don't know if they'll work for you i've heard some other guys suggesting to me you wrapping things in copper wire i didn't try that but that seems like a sensible solution although a pretty ugly solution it just seems that most people who are suffering from this are just doing the same thing. They're moving their equipment as far away as humanly possible, using extension cables, using um, extender hubs, that kind of thing, and then ultimately plugging in, uh, going back to a wired connection, uh, which is a real shame. Uh, and in terms of the expense, yes, it has cost you. I've spent another probably in the region of about a hundred pounds. I'm not completely sure how much that is in dollars right now, um, but. Yeah, about an extra hundred pounds on hubs, on extenders, on the Wi-Fi extender, and you add it all up, that's another hundred pounds on top of the machine. But you're saying, well, why don't you just take it back to Apple, blah, blah, blah. As, as I mentioned in the previous videos, um, I need to work. Uh, for me to take the machine back, for me to be without the machine, for it's going to cost me more than that hundred quid to get it to work. Um, in terms of lost man hours and lost work. So I just need to soldier on and get on with it. It is a really shit situation, but that's Apple for you. So hopefully you guys are getting your problem solved out. You know, thanks to everyone who's written in a message support and also, you know, sadly some of you guys out there having the same problem. Hopefully this might be a solution for you. You may already have some of this gear lying around. Uh, you might want to try it out. Not the best solution, but a solution. I've been Brucey. Thanks for watching. If you like my videos, please do sit, hit subscribe, the subscribe button there. And if you want to be notified, hit the bell button and you'll get a little notification when I put a video out next. Thanks again, and I will certainly catch you later.